Hey guys, let's talk about the Roku Stream Stick 4K setup. It's very easy and here you're gonna find the step-by-step. -step. I have everything unboxed. So here's the remote control. And then you got the stick. You're going to connect to the HDMI port on your TV. This is a receiver. It also comes in the box. And you're going to connect to power. It comes with a power brake like this one. We just need to check the correct way to connect it. And then you connect to an outlet. And this side, you are going to connect to the stick, right? Just like this. There we go. And then you're ready to go. And you also need the remote control for your TV. So here I can change the input to the one that I'm going to connect the Roku stick to, okay? So let's just go to the TV, connect everything, and then you come back to the setup. Okay, guys, so here in the back of the TV, I have this option for HDMI 1, HDMI 2, so I can select any of this. And I can also connect to power the device using the USB port, right? If I don't have any port here for any USB port, I can just use the power brick. So in my case, as I have the port, I'm going to use the USB here, right? So here is the stick. Then what I have to do is just connect it to this cable. There we go. And now I'm going to connect to the USB port just like so. And now I see that it powers on. There is an LED here to show that. And I just need to connect now to the HDMI. I'm going to select HDMI 1. And I'm good to go. Now I just need to go to my TV and select the HDMI 1 and start the process. Okay, so now it's time for the setup. Then you just need to get your remote control and select the correct input. In here, for example, I'm going to select the input number 1 for HDMI 1. And I see the Roku, it's connected there. And now I need to pair the remote, okay? So here you have the remote control. So basically what I have to do is just press and hold those keys, and then it's going to pair with the stick, right? First, I need to remove this thing here, okay? As instructed there. So it's going to work on the batteries. And now I just need to press and hold here both buttons at the same time, and now it's pairing back there. Okay, now let's just get it started. I click here, English. Now I need to select my network. Just make sure you have the password for your network. Insert the password. There we go, click connect. There's a software update available, just hit okay. After the software update, the Roku is going to restart. There we go, I got a insufficient power. So what I have to do is just connect the power brake that comes with the device, okay? So that's the power brake. Remember that I was connecting directly using the USB port on the TV. And later, what I have to do is just use this brake instead. For now, I'm just going to continue. Now I can do the setup for the Roku control the power and volume of the TV. So just continue here. I have a Panasonic TV, I found my correct TV. So me is explained back there, that's okay. Now I'm good to go, just hit OK. And now I need to activate with the QR code or an, uh, use an email for activation. I already have an account, so I'm going to activate with the QR code. So I'm pointing my cell phone to the TV so it can read the QR code. And then I need to enter the information here on the cell phone to activate the device. There we go, I enter the information to activate the account and just hit here, sign in. And then I need to enter the code that I'm going to receive via email. So I'm checking here on my computer and I got the code. So I'm going to insert here on the cell phone. And there you go, and here I just hit continue. And now I just need to name my device. So I give the device a name and just hit continue. And there are some just extra questions here. I say no. Yeah, now you just finish this process. And now the Roku is just adding the channels. You just need to wait. And there we go, all done. And you're good to go with your Roku TV, okay? So it's working. And there we go, I have the Roku menu with all the apps that I can use. And I can just go to live TV as well, search and do whatever I want here using my new Roku, okay? So that's the way you can set up your Roku TV stream. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to this channel, leave your thumbs up and your comments, and I see you in the next one.